There are two ways to train our abdominals. So one is with rotation, the other one is anti-rotation. So when we talk about anti-rotation, we're talking about resisting rotation. So the urge to rotate, to find something stable, to find something more comfortable, but we're resisting that rotation. On the other hand, we have rotation where we're actually wanting to get strong through rotation. Both of these are important for footballers because when we sprint, for example, we're rotating. This is a rotational position in our upper body. Our body needs that freedom. Our rib cage needs to be able to move. Our arms need to be able to move. So it does help to be strong. In football, when we're running, we're often looking to one side, turned, but we also need to be able to resist rotation. That's still important. Now, when we talk about rotation for abs, the most common thing we're gonna run into is Russian twists and their variations. Let's just sit there and do this. And when we talk about anti-rotation, then we're gonna go for planks or sit-ups probably. Let's scratch those two. There are a plethora of exercises we could be using that are far more specific, far more helpful than Russian twists. So let's explore some more powerful options for rotation and anti-rotation. For rotation, super easy. Love this one also for goalkeepers. It's also a very powerful movement. We're gonna start in this position and then we're gonna rotate and go into a press position. Again, activating the abs, activating the arms. It's a complex movement. It's working more than one joint series, is working more than one muscle group. It's not isolated. We're in this position and it's almost like we're going to do a deadlift slash a clean and then we're going to push it out. Okay. Again, pull and push. Another one is landmine rotation slash anti-rotation. One of my favorites. Holding the barbell with extended arms. And here we are trying to resist rotation while we rotate with straight arms. My core is stable and my arms are straight as I hold that. It's really, really difficult. Chop variations are also really simple, but they're so helpful. You can do it with a band. You can do it with a rope. You can do it with a sled. You can do it with a cable system. You can do it from lower, low hip to high hip. We can do it straight across if we want to, but here we're gonna go from high to low. You can do it just as well in a kneeling position. Again, from high to low or low to high, hip to hip. Now the pile off is something that people often use for anti-rotation or resisting rotation, right? So when we're here, we don't wanna get pulled into that rotational movement. It can very often be sloppily executed, quickly executed, and then it's not nearly as effective as when we're purposefully resisting rotation the whole time. We tend to sink down into our hips, get a little crooked, and that really does the opposite of help us. Another super common one is gonna be any pull-through variation. I love these. Outside of the sit-up and the Russian twist, outside of those two, there are so many things that we can optimize for rotation and anti-rotation. We need them both. We need them desperately, especially for sprinting because our eyes, our upper body are very often in rotational positions and always in the gym, especially in season, we're training to support our performance on the pitch. So that's that on that. Have a good day.